Welcome to a Specialty Products Company information video. Today's topic, replacing seized lower control arm bushings on Toyota light duty trucks. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. This procedure should only be used by personnel who have the necessary skills, training and tools to do the job correctly and safely. Incorrect installation can result in personal injury, vehicle damage, and or loss of vehicle control. Lift vehicle by frame. Remove wheel and tire assembly. Remove rock shield if necessary. Remove control arm bolt. Pop off adjusting cam. Use cam extractor, SPC part number 40915 to remove inner sleeve. If the inner sleeve is corroded to the point that the cam extractor will not remove the inner sleeve and bushing, the bushing will have to be cut out of the vehicle. Using a reciprocating saw, cut the sleeve between the outer flange of the bushing and the end ring of the control arm. Do this on both sides of the bracket so the control arm will become free. Remove attaching bolt for shock or coilover. Remove ball joint to knuckle attaching bolts. Remove lower control arm. Mount lower control arm in a vise to remove bushings. Using a reciprocating saw, remove the end of the bushings along the end ring of the control arm, being careful not to damage the end rings. Cut off both sides of the bushings. Now cut the center core of the bushings to remove the inner metal. This can be done by using a 3 8 or 7 16 drill bit and drilling around the rubber between the inner metal and outer metal of the bushing. An alternative way is to use a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole saw. You will need to use the hole saw from both sides to get completely through the rubber of the bushing. After the rubber has been removed, push out the inner metal. Carefully cut the outer metal of the bushing. Always cut downward towards the leg of the control arm to prevent permanent damage to the end ring. After the outer metal has been cut through, use the air chisel to remove the outer metal of the bushing from the control arm end ring. Using a file and wire brush, clean the end ring of rust and debris. Using a bushing press kit like SPC part number 40940, press the new bushing into the control arm end ring. Preassemble SPC cam assembly by installing one cam on each bolt. Some kits have different length bolts and different size cams. Verify cams and bolts before assembly. Apply anti-seize to the shaft of the bolt, making sure none gets on the threads. Note, getting anti-seize on the threads will affect clamping force of the nut and bolt. Install lower control arm and mounting bolts and adjust cam to the neutral position. Attach lower control arm to knuckle, then torque to manufacturer specifications. Attach shock or coilover bolt and torque to manufacturer specifications, making sure to tighten bolts at ride height so you don't damage the bushings. Install wheel and tire assembly and torque to manufacturer specifications. Jound suspension aligned to desired setting by turning bolt. Hold the end of the bolt and torque nut to specification in the instructions. This will lock in the alignment setting. Adjust tow and road test the vehicle. Thank you for watching. For over 40 years, Specialty Products Company has been designing, testing, and manufacturing world-class alignment suspension solutions. For more installation videos, visit us online at www.spc-tv.com.